Okay, semua Assalamualaikum and good morning. Okay, uh, right, so we okay. Okay, so we have discussed about trigonometric integral. So any question about trigonometric integral? Are you silent? Oh, okay, okay, very good. Okay, so now look at this exercise. So mana yang dah buat, you boleh uh, semak. Okay, so kalau you ada soalan, just tanya. Right, so uh, soalan ni kan yang air tanda, betul eh? Alright, so uh, in exercise 1 to 12, uh, we need to find the indefinite integral. Okay, so based on this uh, integral, we identified that it is uh, involving, integrating involving powers of sine and cosine. Okay, so solution, so number 2. So here we have integral of cosine cube x multiply with sine to the power of 4x respect to x. Okay. All right. So based on this uh, integral, we identified that the power of cosine is odd. So we need to split it off. At point, we need to factorize for cosine x. So here we have cosine square x times sine to the power of 4x. So times cosine x respect to x. Okay. Right. So next, uh, we apply identity. So identity for this one, it is about um, cosine square x that u. So u sine, so cosine. Okay, so this one we convert all cosine s into sine x so by using this identity, which is cosine square x equivalent with 1 minus sine square x. Okay, so gantikan cosine square x dengan 1 minus sine square x. So here we have 1 minus sine square of x times sine to the power of 4x cosine x respect to x okay so next uh substitute so let u is a sine x so differentiate so differentiate respect to x on sine x we have cosine x dx okay so masukkan je gantikan sine dengan u then here we have 1 minus u squared times u to the power of 4 so our cosine x dx is a du Okay, right, so next expand u to the power of 4 minus u to the power of 6 du. And then we integrate. So integrate here we have u to the power of 5 over 5 minus u to the power of 7 over 7 plus c. Okay, so we get back u. So u is a sine x. So here we have sine to the power of 5x over 5 minus sine to the power of 7x over 7 plus c. All right, so this is the answer. Therefore, cosine cube x times sine to the power of 4x dx equivalent sine to the power of 5x over 5 minus sine to the power of 7x over 7 plus c. Okay. All right, class, any question? No Very good. Okay, so next we look at next question. Number four. So number four, we have sine to the power of three of three x. Okay, so number four, integral sine to the power of three of three x dx. Okay, right. So this one, uh, it is already power of three or odd. odd. So we just factor for sine x. So here we have sine square of 3x times sine square of uh, sine sine saja. So it's sine cos 3. Eh? So we have sine uh, of 3x. So angle dia 3x. So mana you kena follow lah 3x. Eh? And then integrate by respect to x. Okay. So next, this one we use identity. 
sine square x equals to uh, 1 minus cosine square x. Sine square x. Okay, so here we have 1 minus sebab kita punya angle 3x, so kena ikut 3x lah. Jadi, sine square of 3x, it is equivalent with 1 minus cosine square 3x. Okay, so here we have 1 minus cosine square of 3x times sine of 3x dx. Okay, so substitute, let u, uh, like, let u is cosine x, cosine of 3x, so differentiate respect to x on u. Uh, kita akan dapat 3 negative sine of 3x dx. Okay, so here we can see that our sine of 3x, it is equivalent with negative du over 3 daripada sini. Okay, so kita gantikan cosine dengan u. So here we have 1 minus u squared. So sine 3 s dx is negative du over 3. Okay, so it is equivalent with negative 1 over 3. So integrate inside here 1 minus u squared du. Okay, so integrate u minus u power of 3 over 3, the whole thing plus c. So therefore, the answer here is negative 1 over 3. So u, so u is a cosine to the power of 3x. Negative, negative, we have positive. 1 over 3 times 3, we have 9. So 1 over 9, cosine to the power of 3 of 3x plus c. So this is a, the answer. So therefore, sine to the power of 3 of 3x dx is this one. Okay, All right, any question for number four? No, no, no. Okay, very good. Okay, so next, kita tengok soalan yang seterusnya, number 26 and 27. So this one is about integrating involving tangent and secant. Okay. Okay. Okay, so kita 26. 26 tangent to the power of 5 to x. 26. We have tangent. Integral of tangent to the power of 5 to x. Multiply with secant to the power of 4 to x respect to x. Okay, so now uh, we have power of tangent is odd and the power of secant is even. Okay, so for this case, we need to factor for secant square x. have uh, tangent to the power of 5 to x times secant squared to x times secant square of 2x dx. So ini kita fakturkan eh. Dan kita akan dapat inilah secant square to x secant times secant square to x. Okay. So next. Uh, we uh, apply a relevant identity. So secant square to x equivalent with Tangent square x plus 1. Betul eh? Plus 1. Okay. And uh, this one, uh, semua yang ada, ada secant tu, you gantikan dengan tangent. So, we have tangent to the power of 5, 2x. 2x. And uh, for secant, this one, we apply this identity, tangent square of 2x plus 1. So, we have secant square of 2x dx. Okay, so gantikan. So, let u is tangent of 2x. So, we differentiate respect to x. So, here we have 2 secant square of 2x. Okay. 
So now uh, secant square of 2x, it is equivalent with du over 2. Okay, so you masukkan ni, gantikan tangent dengan u. Kena kita akan dapat u to the power of 5 multiply with u squared plus 1. So secant square x, uh, secant square 2x dx is du over 2. Ada x, ada ds kat tepi tu. This one eh. Second square of 2x dx equivalent with this one. So, kembangkan dalam ni. Multiply with du over 2. So, 1 over 2 is a constant. So, you boleh, boleh buat ke depan ni. So, kita expand. So, we have u to the power 7 plus u to the power of 5 du. Okay, so different uh, integrate. U to the power of 8 over 8. Okay, U power of 8. Uh, plus U to the power of 7, uh, 6, sorry, 6. U to the power of 6 over 6 plus C. Alright, so masukkan balik U dalam sebutan X, which is tangent to X. So here we have uh, 1 over 2 times 8 is 16. Tangent to the power of 8 of 2x kuasa 8 tu ok 2x and then plus 2 times 6 is 12 we have 1 over 12 tangent to the power of 6 of 2x plus c ok so this is the final solution or we can say that integral tangent to the power of 5 2x Time secant to the power of 4 of 2 as dx. It is equivalent with 1 over 16. Tangent to the power of 8 of 2x plus 1 over 12. Tangent to the power of 6 of 2x plus c. Okay, so this is a solution. Okay, boleh? Ada soalan untuk 26? No, madam. Boleh. Okay, very good. Okay, so next kita tengok 27. 27 is about secant to the power of 6, 4x times tangent 4x dx. Second. 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 Okay. Second. Six four x Okay, right, so again, now we have secant, secant uh, even power, so we uh, factorize for secant, secant, secant uh, 4, 4x times tangent of 4x. So, kita factor kat second square. Eh? So, we have second to the power of 2 of 4x dx. Okay. And kita dah factorkan. Okay. So, next. Uh, ni sama jawab macam tadi lah. Okay. So, kita gunakan this identity. Second square of 4x. Time, it is equivalent with tangent square of 4x plus 1. So, ini second 4. So, you boleh factorkan dia. Dia akan buat second square of 4x to the power of 2. Tangent of 4x times second square of 4x dx. Okay, so apply identity. So, identity here is tangent square of 4x plus 1. The whole thing to the power of 2 multiply with tangent to the power 4x. Tangent of 4x multiply with second square of 4x dx. Okay, so next kita substitute. So let u, so let u is tangent. Okay, so tangent 4x. Okay, so we differentiate. Then here we have 4 uh, secant square of 4x dx. Okay, so gantikan tangent dalam u. Dan kita dapat u squared plus 1 to the power of 2. Uh, multiply with u. So secant square of 4x. So daripada sini. 
uh, kita akan dapat uh, du over 4 untuk gantikan secant square 4 x dx eh. so we have uh, du over 4 so 1 over 4 is a constant 1 over 4 so inside here we expand so u square plus 1 to the power of 2 we have u to the power of 4 plus 2 u squared plus 1 times u respect to u. Okay. So expand u to the power of 5 plus 2 u to the power of 3 plus u respect to u. Okay. Next, integrate. Then here we have u to the power of 6 over 6 plus 2 u to the power of 4 over 4 plus c. So, you masukkan balik u in terms of tangent of 4x. So, here we have uh, 1 over 24. So, 4 plus 4 times is 24. Tangent to the power of 6 of 4x plus 2 over 16. Tangent to the power of 4, 4x plus C. So, gitu. 2U, oh ni lagi ni, kat tepi ni, ada U lagi ni. U squared, U squared over 2. Plus U squared over 2. And then plus C. So, dia ada lagi last tu, iaitu uh, tangent squared of 4X over 2 plus C. Okay, so this is the answer. Therefore, the integral about secant power of 6. Okay, right. So, dapat jawapan? Okay, ada soalan untuk 27? No, madam. No, okay. Very good. Okay, so that's all about um, trigonometric integral. Okay, so next kita akan masuk topik seterusnya, uh, trigonometric substitution. Okay, uh, look at this one, trigonometric substitution. Okay, so trigonometric substitution is a method that can be used to solve integration that involving expression square root a squared minus a squared, square root a squared plus a squared, and square root a squared minus a squared. Okay, so the substitution is based on the table below. Right, so if the integral involving this expression, which is square root a squared minus a squared, so we substitute x into a sine theta. So where the theta here is a from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay, so this is the, the range of theta. So theta is the angle for the triangle. Okay, okay so identity that we can apply here is 1 minus sine squared theta equivalent with cos sine squared theta. Right, so next, if we have this expression in our in our uh, integration or integral, so we substitute a tangent theta into x. Okay, so the expression, expression here is square root a squared plus x squared. So we substitute a tangent theta into x. Okay, and the angle is uh, from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So maknanya dekat sini, dia punya angle dia y so negative pi over 2 2 pi over 2 uh, pi over 2 so it is pi over 2 if pi over 2 ok so maknanya dia adalah sudut so, dia dari sini ke sini lah ok so this is the angle Alright, uh, yang ni, so identity that we can apply for this case is 1 plus tangent squared theta equivalent with secant squared theta. Okay, so the last one, if we have this radical or this expression in the integral, then we substitute a secant theta into x and the theta here is 0 to pi over 2. 0 to pi over 2 maksudnya daripada kosong ke 
ke 90 degrees or from pi to 3 pi over 2. So from pi so pi kat sini. So daripada sini uh, 3 pi over 2. Dari sini lah. Uh, okay. 3 pi over 2 from here. Okay. Alright, so this one is for this one. So the identity here is secant square theta minus 1 equivalent with tangent square theta. Okay. Alright, so untuk trigonometric solution, kita ikut jadual ni lah. So you kena tengok lah expression ni yang mana. Kalau yang first one, uh, it is about sine theta. So A is a constant. So if we have square root A squared plus X squared, so we substitute A tangent theta into X. And if we have square root x squared minus a squared, so we substitute a secant theta uh, equal to x. Okay. So, maknanya kat sini, kat sini yang kita, kita gunakan, kat sini lah you gunakan trigonometric substitution. Okay, ada soalan sakat ni. Sebelum kita tengok contoh yang pertama. Any question class? Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay, very good. Okay, so now look at this example. So, this example asks you to evaluate the integral uh, square root 9 minus x squared over x squared. Okay. Right. So, based on this integral, uh, we have this radical or this expression, which is the square root 9 minus x squared. So, it is similar as square root uh, a squared. Kan a squared lah. 3 squared. 3 kuasa, 3 kuasa 2. 3 squared minus x squared. Okay, so uh, in general, it is about square root a squared minus s squared. Okay, so based on the table above, if we have this expression, then we substitute 3 sin theta into x. Okay, so bila kita katakan x is 3 sin theta, it is means that sin theta is x over 3. Okay, so yang ini adalah dia punya um, length for x, uh, length for x. Opposite dan juga uh, hypotenuse. Okay, so bila sin theta, you dah tahu dah sin theta is uh, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so you can draw this diagram. So this is the angle. So the highest length here is 3 which is hypot hypotenuse. And the length of opposite is this one, x. Okay, so therefore this length. So, the adjacent here is about square root 9 minus x squared. Faham eh? Okay, so macam biasalah bila you dah substitute uh, x into 3 sin theta. So, we need to uh, differentiate. Then here we have 3 cos sin theta, d theta. Okay, so proses kat sini adalah kita gantikan uh, sebutan theta ke dalam, uh, sebutan x ke dalam theta. So, maknanya daripada sebutan x kepada theta. Okay. Alright, so next we solve for this radical or for this expression, square root 9 minus x squared. So here we have square root 9 minus 3 sin theta to the power of 2. Okay, so we expand this one. Then here we have 9 minus 9 sin squared theta. Okay, so it is also equivalent uh, square root 9 times 1 minus sin squared theta. So this one, kita apply identity. So, the identity here is uh, cos sin squared theta equal to 1 minus sin squared theta. So, kita gunakan identity dan dia cos cos squared lah. So, for this one, we can solve it. Then, here we have 3 cos sin theta. So, therefore, square root 9 minus s squared in theta is 3 cos sin theta. Okay, class. So, for this part, ada soalan tak? No, madam. Tak ada. Okay, very good. So, for this part, you just uh, gantikan S dengan 3 sin theta. And that followed. Okay? Tu je. Okay, so next. So, hence the integral square root 9 minus S squared over X uh, dx. Sama jugalah, you just substitute. For this one, for this radical, we have soft. Then here, we have 3 cos sin theta. And then for S squared, so this S squared, it is equivalent with 9 sin squared theta. Okay, so dari mana kita dapat 9 squared theta is based on this one. So, x is 3 sin theta. So, x squared is uh, 3 sin theta to the power of 2. So, kita dapat 9 sin squared theta. 9, 9 sin squared theta. Okay. So, for this x ada di sini. So, kita ambil yang ini. 
Sebab kita nak tukarkan X kepada theta. Okay, so here the S equivalent with 3 cosine theta di theta. Macam tu. You just ambil dan masukkan dalam ni. Alright. Okay, so next simplify. Uh, so this one, we have 9 cosine squared theta over 9 sine squared theta. Okay, dapat yang ni. Alright, so next uh, we use identity which is uh, cosine theta over uh, sine theta it is equivalent with cotangent theta. So therefore sine squared over cosine squared then here we have cotangent squared theta. Okay, so this is the identity for cotangent squared which is cosecant squared theta minus 1. All right. So next we integrate that here we have negative cotangent theta minus theta. So yeah, ini you integrate lah in terms of theta. Okay. Right. So we have done about uh, the integration which involving a theta. So next we need to find out what is a cotangent theta and theta in x term. So yeah, ini kalau nak cari dalam sebutan x, you kena tengok pada diagram yang ini lah. We need to look at this diagram. Okay, so kita ada uh, length untuk setiap uh, untuk setiap ukuran ni kan? Okay, uh, so cotangent theta, you tahu dah cotangent theta adalah it is about 1 over tangent theta. Okay, so 1 over tangent theta. So kalau tangent theta based on this diagram, kita akan dapat square root. 9 minus x squared over x. Okay. Then tangent. X sorry. Tangent theta. Tangent theta is apa? Opposite over adjacent. So our opposite here is x. Tangent eh. So, x over square root 9 minus x squared. So, therefore, cotangent here is square root 9 minus x squared over x. So, untuk theta, kita boleh ambil uh, based on cotangent ataupun sine. Okay, so theta is a cotangent inverse square root 9 minus x squared over x or sine inverse of x over 3. Okay, so you can choose uh, sine inverse or cotangent inverse. Boleh, tak ada masalah. Okay, so therefore the answer here is this one. Integral square root 9 minus x squared over x squared dx, it is equivalent with negative square root 9 minus x squared over x minus sine inverse of x over 3 plus c. Okay, faham? Ada soalan tak? No, madam. Okay, very good. Okay, so this one uh, radical involving square root is x squared plus 4. So, bila x squared plus 4, it is the general is about x squared plus a squared. Okay, so we substitute uh, x equivalent with a tangent a tangent theta. Right, so our A here is 2. So we substitute X equal to 2 tangent theta. So based on this, we have tangent theta is X over 2. So we draw a, a diagram. Okay, tangent theta means uh, opposite over adjacent. Okay, so this length is about X and the adjacent length here is 2. And the hypotenuse is square root X squared plus 4. Okay. Alright, so next we saw for this radical square root x squared plus 4. So, you masukkanlah x to tangent theta. So, bila kuasa 2, dia akan jadi 2 tangent squared theta. 2 tangent theta, 2 di power of 2. So, bila you selesaikan yang ni, kita akan dapat ni lah 4 tangent squared theta plus 4. So, this one we factorize and we apply identity and at the end of the day, we have this answer. So, therefore, square root x squared plus 4, it is equivalent with 2 secant theta. Okay, untuk part yang ni ada soalan? Tak ada. Tak ada. ada. Okay. Alright, good. So, hence uh, kita selesaikan our integral or integration. 
So 1 over uh, S squared times square root S squared plus 4. Right? Uh, dx. Okay, so you masukkan je. So dx kita 2 second squared theta. Ni our dx. So you masukkan dalam ni. Dan kita dapat 2 second squared theta. Over x squared times square root x squared plus 4. Okay, so x is 2 tangent theta. So therefore x squared here is uh, 4 tangent squared theta. And the answer for square root x squared plus 4 is 2 second theta. So you just masukkan je. Okay, so now we have integral uh, after simplify. We have integral of second theta over 4 tangent squared theta d theta. Okay, so for this part, untuk bahagian integral ni, uh, you can use uh, trigonometric integral which is a previous topic yang kita dah belajar. Okay, kalau boleh, kalau ada yang boleh substitute, then you can substitute. Alright. Okay, so untuk dalam uh, example ni, uh, second theta and tangent theta, we make it in a, in a root of second and tangent. Okay. So, kalau you tengok dekat sini, second theta, it is about 1 over cosine theta. Second theta is 1 over cosine theta. And uh, tangent the, tangent squared. So, tangent is actually, tangent apa? Actually, sine theta over cosine theta. Okay. Right. So, tangent is based on this one. So, we said we divide by uh, sine squared theta, cosine squared theta, simplify and we have this one. You masukkan saja, mudah je. And then simplify. So, this one we use uh, substitution method to solve. You solve, at the end of the day, we have this answer. Negative cosecant theta plus C. Okay. Alright, so jangan lupa balikkan sebenar sebutan uh, X. So, cari jawapan dalam diagram ni. So, kat sini ada sin theta. So, sin theta is sin theta is opposite over uh, over hypotenuse and cosecant theta cosecant theta is 1 over sin theta. 1 over sin theta cosecant. Yes. Uh, cosecant 1 over Sign betul. 1 over sign theta. Okay. So, carilah. Dia akan dapat jawapan ni. So, this is the answer. Okay. Ada soalan? Tak ada eh? Dia mudah je. Uh, trigonometric is quite uh, easy. Right. You just uh, apply the apa tu kata? The Substitute, uh, you use the substitute and then apply relevant identity and then you solve. Then you akan dapat jawapan dia. Okay. Right. Okay, ada soalan sakit ni? Tak ada. Tak ada eh? Okay, tak ada. Very good. Okay, so ini kalau you nak tukar direct, uh, tak nak buat macam yang dalam example ni sebab dalam example at the end baru you kita masukkan ni uh, limit kata you nak masukkan limit dalam sebutan theta boleh tak ada masalah ok so untuk limit ni yang ini adalah uh, the values of x or the limit of x is a 0 to 3 0 to 3 ok so maknanya uh, x equals to 0 and x equals to 3 Okay, so since our x here is 6 sin theta, 6 sin theta, kita punya x ini 6 sin theta, so let s equals to 0, katakan s adalah kosong, so kita ikut ini, eh. so this is mean, means that s equals to 0, uh, the range here is minimum dia kosong, maximum dia 3, uh, macam tu. Okay, so sekarang kita nak cari minimum for theta, so bila minimum for theta kita ambil ini. So, let s equals to uh, 0. Okay. So, s kosong. So, you gantikan dalam dalam ini. Nak cari. So, 6. 0 equals to 6 sin theta. 
So sine theta is zero. So theta sine inverse of zero. So sine inverse of zero apa dia? Pi. Sine inverse of zero is zero. Yang ada dua eh. Satu kosong, satu pi. Tapi kita ambil kosong. So untuk minimum value for Uh, theta is zero. So, theta equal to zero. And lagi satu tu, let x for minimum value for x. So, minimum for value for x is 3. So, let x equal to 3. So, you masukkanlah untuk dapatkan theta kan. So, 3 equivalent with 6 sin theta. So, sin theta. Ataupun theta, it is equivalent with uh, sin inverse of 3 over 6. Apa? Sin inverse 3 over 6 means sin inverse 1 over 2. Kan? Betul tak? So, untuk theta ni adalah pi over 6. Okay? Faham tak ni? Jadi... The range ataupun the limit of theta is 0 to pi over 6. So, you boleh selesaikan dekat sini without uh, yang ini kan. Sekejap, hmm. maknanya dekat sini. 0 to 3 for this one, integral s over square root 36 minus x square dx. It is also equivalent with the 0 to pi over 6. To pi over 6 for this theta. Okay. Alright. You calculate dekat sini. You semua mana ni. Tak, yang yang ini you boleh skip lah. Tak perlu convert theta to x. You just calculate. Okay. So yang ni you dapat berapa tu? Uh, 6 sin theta. You integrate. Kat sini sebenarnya ada 6 eh. This one we have 6. So 6 times this one. So the answer here is negative square root 36 minus x squared plus c. Okay, so kat sini negatif uh, 6 cosine theta. Okay, right. So ini jawapan dia negatif uh, 6 cosine theta. You masukkan je limit 0 to pi over 6. Ini juga akan dapat jawapan. Faham tak? Yang saya cakap ni. Any question? No. No, madam. Tak ada. Jelas eh? Okay. Alright. So, I think that's all. So, this one, uh, ini yang uh, quite difficult lah. Kita ada 4x squared and then we have the power of 3 over 2. So, this one is still radical. Sebab dia masih dalam punca kuasa. Sebab dia kuasa 3 per 2 eh. So, kalau yang bawah ni, dia merupakan punca lah. Okay. Alright, so this one uh, you boleh tengok. Alright. Okay, itu saja untuk trigonometric uh, substitution. Okay, ada soalan? Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay, no, very good. Very good. So, kalau tak ada, uh, lepas ni you boleh buat exercise. Exercise. Hari Rabu, you punya kelas esok kan? Besok kita bincang. Sekejap eh, nak pilih exercise yang sesuai. Esok selasa, Madam. Ah, esok selasa lah, betul. <laughs> Sekelas so, kita ada eh, esok selasa. Kelas kita dua empat kan? Okay, nampak eh. Okay, so buat soalan ni. 6, 12 dan 14. Okay. Dan juga 42, 44 and 46. Try buat dulu. So next kita akan, next class. Uh, tomorrow kita akan discuss. Okay, boleh? Okay. Ya, yeah, ada soalan? No, madam. Tak ada. Okay. So, kalau tak ada apa-apa soalan, ni ada masa setengah jam lagi ni, uh, you boleh buat uh, exercise. 
And then uh, esok kita discuss. Alright. Okay. So okay. kalau tak ada apa-apa soalan. Uh, that's all for today. So kelas thank you and Assalamualaikum. So jangan lupa mana yang datang ni. Jangan lupa sign attendant eh. Sebelum okay, 12. Pukul 12 dia, dia dah tutup. Okay. Jumpa lagi besok.